In order to add or delete codes or cards in your system, first open the mobile app, select your facility, on the lower right hand corner of the screen select the menu icon. Next select access codes. You will initially see a list of current users on the system. If you are adding a user, select the plus symbol. Next you will need to enter the details of the user. You must enter a first name and a last name. You will only enter a card number in the card number field if your system is an access control system. All users will need a PIN number entered. You must enter a random PIN number that does not currently exist on the system. Next, you will select an access level by clicking the three dots to the right. You will then be able to select one of the existing access levels on the system. You have a phone number field. Enter a phone number for any user that will be on your calling list for the central station. If it is an access control system, select the box for activate card. If this user is allowed to receive important information about the account when calling into the central station or adding and deleting other users, you would also want to select can make code changes. You would also want to select can call for service if this user is authorized to request service at the central station. And if you entered a phone number earlier, you would then also select can add to call list for this user. Your user active box should already be selected. You will select from the system user level by clicking the dots. Your choices will be invalid, no arm or disarm, arm disarm only, or master. Typically when adding a user, you will select arm disarm only. Next is the access code. You would want to enter an access code for this user to use when arming and disarming the system. You have the option of selecting English or Spanish as a language to show up on the keypad for this individual once they enter their code. As for user group, normally you would select one for exempt anti-passback. This would only apply to normal systems. If you have a system with elevator control, when you select the three dots next to user group, you will see other user groups listed with floor access or access levels that they will be able to use with their card in the elevator system. If this is a temporary employee, you can enter a start and an end date. In normal instances, you would not enter anything into either of those fields. You want to ensure that you have the correct default assignments for partitions. If your partition is A, select A. If your system has more than one partition, you would also need to check the boxes related to the other available partitions with which this user should have the ability to arm, disarm, or access. When finished, Verify all information is correct, then hit the check mark at the lower left hand side of the screen. You will then re return to the original screen and you will see that that user you've added is on the list. If you need to make any changes, simply select the user and select the edit icon, which is at the lower left hand side of the screen. At that point, you have access to all options and you can make necessary changes. When finished, select the check mark and then hit the back button. To delete an employee from your list, simply highlight the employee and hit the delete icon. You will be prompted if you are sure that you want to make this action because this action cannot be reversed. Once you select OK, the user will be deleted. At that point, you can hit the back arrow or hit the status arrow to go back to your home screen.